So one of the things that Copernicus gives us is a full dump of the raw BIOS on a machine. By running scripts across multiple BIOS dumps from the same machines, this can be used for things such as change detection. Now the TPM also gives us change detection, but the problem with the TPM is that it only tells us that there was a change to the BIOS and not where the change was. Ideally, we'd like to be able to pinpoint where a change occurred in a BIOS to determine if the change was potentially malicious. With the BIOS dumps, Copernicus gives us the ability to do this. Modern UEFA BIOSes have what's called the flash file system, which organizes the BIOS into multiple files. These files are mostly modules which perform some part of the system initialization at boot. We've written a script which parses and diffs the file systems for two BIOS dumps. Because of the flash file system, we are able to use a third-party tool called EFI Pwn to do the file system parsing. In the example I'll show now, I inserted a trivial modification to a module in a clean BIOS that will prevent the TPM from working properly on system boot. Our script can detect and print detailed information about this change. So here are the details of the change that I made. First of all, some files in the flash file system have a user-friendly name which can be used to infer the functionality of the change module. Additionally, all code files in a UEFI BIOS must be in the PE file format. This allows us to parse the PE file and pinpoint exactly where a change occurred and also be able to tell whether the change occurred in a code section or a data section of the PE file. Also from the PE file, we are able to get the virtual address of the change in the file which can be passed to a tool such as IDO Pro to perform further analysis. 